Today we will explore the different API groups of base oils, we'll start on on group 1, group 2, and group 3 base oils, cover group 4 polyalpha olefins and finally touch on the group 5 miscellaneous and group 6 now redundant category. Intriguingly, group 3 is considered a mineral oil in some jurisdictions but synthetic in others. This discrepancy arises due to varying regulatory definitions, which we'll delve into later. The classification of group 3 as either mineral or synthetic varies by country. In the United States, for example, it's considered synthetic due to the level of processing it undergoes, a status cemented by a famous court ruling. However, in Europe, it's often classified as a highly refined mineral oil. Mineral oils are distinguished by their saturated content, sulfur content, and viscosity index. Each of these characteristics plays a crucial role in determining the oil's performance. Saturated hydrocarbons are more stable due to the absence of double bonds. Hydrocracking is a common process used to achieve this stability by removing carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bonds and replacing them with hydrogen atoms to form carbon-hydrogen bonds. Sulfur is often seen as an impurity and is removed through desulfurization processes, especially as you move from group 1 to group 3. The viscosity index measures how much the viscosity changes with temperature. A higher viscosity index is desirable as it means less change in viscosity with temperature. Synthetic oils can come from group 3, group 4, or group 5. Group 4 oils are polyalpha olefins and are fully synthetic. They offer superior performance in extreme conditions. Group 1 oils have high solvency due to their polarity, which includes the presence of double bonds and sulfur. These elements are removed during refining to higher base groups, which have poorer solvent properties but better oxidation stability. When it comes to oxidation stability, additives often make finished lubricants from group 2 or 3 more stable through the use of antioxidant additives like amines and phenols. Naphthenic oils are often used in refrigeration compressors due to their excellent pore depressant properties. Their structure makes wax crystal formation unstable, causing them to collapse or melt, offering superior low temperature performance. Group 3 oils are lower in toxicity due to the removal of aromatic compounds. However, Group 4 PALs tend to be preferred in food grade and medical lubricant usage. Though not officially recognized anymore, Group 6 oils were once considered a separate category. They were phased out due to environmental concerns and the advent of more advanced synthetic oils that offered better performance. They have now been included in the Group 5 category, which encompasses everything that is not mineral or PAO, including polyglycols, silicone oils, biodegradable oils, esters, and many other oil types. In summary, Groups 1 to 3 are mineral oils made from crude and get progressively more refined. Group 3 is so highly refined it is nearly identical to Group 4 polyalpha olefins, which are synthetics, and is considered synthetic in some countries. Groups 1 to 4 generally mix well with each other, but Group 5 products generally don't, with a few exceptions. We hope this guide provides you with a comprehensive understanding of the different API base oil classifications and what they mean for the finished lubricant.